Rod Menzel with Great Way Roofing on top of the roof of Nage, located here in Ventura, California, taking a quick overview of the roof. First of all, it's a cap sheet roof system, and the first thing that obviously comes to mind is the amount of debris on this roof. This roof really, regardless of what you do, is going to require maintenance, which requires cleaning this roof off because of this pine tree here and the sycamore over there. So that's going to be probably the most important factor. Um, taking a quick look at the drains, these drains can get clogged up pretty quick because of that debris, but once again, I think it's recommended doing that. Uh, good drains though, and parapet walls, uh, everything else is good. This is a great candidate for a fluid applied acrylic roof system. It's the new T Energy Star acrylic roof system, and I'll explain how that system works. A fluid applied acrylic roof system, basically what we're going to do is we're going to put up emulsion polyester fabric for a one ply system and if you want to do a two ply system you have more emulsion and a polyester fabric the top coating is going to be a fluid applied acrylic it's a white elastomeric coating that will go over the top of the roof that's the system that I'd probably recommend in this situation um, the equipment screen in my opinion this uh, this equipment screen is a is a tremendous leak source because what happens is the wood absorbs water and it goes underneath the mastic material right there and into the uh, inside the building there so I think what needs to be done is I would just recommend demoing this out completely remove it and then if necessary uh, install a new Here's one. Here's an example of why I think we could just get rid of the equipment screen um, the equipment screen over there on this other building is no longer in use it just fell apart on the front of this building here which is visible to the freeway there is no equipment screen I think it'd be very safe to say that just getting rid of the equipment screen would be the best way to go. And as you can see, it's definitely damaged and there's really no need for it. Um, let's take a quick look at the air conditioning units. These units, this one here looks like a newer unit and all we're going to be able to do to ro properly roof this would be to, to put it up on jacks. It's sitting on a crate right now. I don't personally think that's the best way to handle it. I think that, uh, uh, you know, I'd consider possibly coming in and um, having an AC contractor set it on the proper size curb. Uh, this could continue to be a problem unless this is disconnected. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's possible we could just take a chance and make it work, but all I did was leave it sitting here on the crate. And, you know, once again, in my opinion, I don't think that's proper. The water flows from here down to there and it dams up here at these four by fours. So once again, I really think that'd be a good idea. If you take a look at this unit here, this unit is a straight shot unit and it's sitting on top of something so you could see it's properly roofed all the way underneath. I'd recommend doing the same thing to the other unit. And lastly, obviously the roof's going to stop right here where this other part of the roof was done. We will stop it right on this line. We'll go just above it by about on this side of the roof right here. You can see my foot. We'll come to about here about a, about a foot on the other side. So that way we know that it's taken care of and waterproof on that side. And you can see it feel a solid wall here too. So this is obviously the, the line that stops.